Episode 79. Welcome back to Briar's Bits presented to you by Briar.io. Couple stories today. Of course, the big story of the day is the chain link, uh, the chain link breakout of old all time high here. Um, link now over $20. Uh, this is uh, two and a half hours before the daily close here, 4 30 Eastern time. Uh, 2013 link, $20.13, 22% up, 22.23% up for the day. Uh, it's what we've all been waiting for, up seven, 715% for the last year. So uh, that resistance at 1978, 1983, $19.83 was broken. And uh, it, you know, ran above $21. You can see here the new all-time high, 2120. Uh, obviously varies depending on exchanges, but um, as long as Link gets a daily close above that previous all-time high, we could see some more fireworks tonight. Not financial advice, but uh, or wherever you at in the, you're at in the world here uh, when the daily close occurs. Uh, pretty pretty excited here for Link. Last time we broke that five dollar uh, all-time high or the four, four whatever it was four dollar five dollar range. We ran to uh, it ran to um, nineteen to that nineteen eighty three all time high. So a lot of people throwing price targets out there. I'm not going to be one of them, but um, I think that price discovery could be a lot of fun. I'll say that. To the other uh, coins here that I like to cover the the holy crypto trinity, Bitcoin up or down five point seven two percent, thirty six thousand two hundred forty nine. I kind of mentioned yesterday that this would be nice if this was a good spot between thirty. Five and forty, or thirty-five and forty-five k for Bit Bitcoin to just take a breather and let these alts do their thing. Um, Ethereum still down twenty percent from its all-time high of um, of fourteen thirty-two. Um, I think it's twenty percent. So uh, yeah, Ethereum still looking to make its first all-time high since uh, last cycle, and. Um, I think that that could happen here in the coming days if the macro stays bullish. Uh, first story is on Chainlink from Federico Easy of the Cryptonomist. Today, the record price increases of Chainlink and Polkadot stand out in the top 10. This is how a week on a roller coaster is about to end, which saw a start in difficulty with reductions that ended on Tuesday, in which the last two days have seen a recovery in prices, but which at the moment are still to be contextualized in a technical rebound. In fact, the recovery of important resistances which took place yesterday has not been confirmed in these hours in which there is prevalence of red signs, so the market very mixed today. Chainlink, the price soars and sets a new record among the largest capitalized. There is a slight prevalence of the negative sign. Uh, among the crypto blue chips, the top 10, the strong increases of Chainlink are highlighted, which flies over 25% and places itself on the last step of the podium among the best of the day. The token curve Dow CRV precedes it, while the best of the day is IOST token. Uh, the latter has recorded a performance of 290% since the beginning of the year, the best increase uh, since the beginning of the year among the top 100. Second story is Mt. Gox creditors can claim up to 90% of their Bitcoin uh, left in bankruptcy, according to Bloomberg. The agreement, this is via Coindesk, the agreement is subject to creditor acceptance from Kevin Reynolds of the as uh, of Coindesk, as I noted. The creditors of the bankruptcy of the bankrupt. Cryptocurrency exchange Mt. Gox will uh, be presented with the option to claim up to 90% of the exchange's remaining Bitcoin, according to Bl Bloomberg. The deal between Mt. Gox's bankruptcy trustee and MGI FLP, a unit of Fortress Investment Group, will be presented to creditors for a simple up or down vote, according to Bloomberg. Again, investors aren't obligated to take the early payment and can wait for lawsuits against the former exchange to settle. According to CoinLab, which announced the deal but is not involved in the settlement, CoinLab said it will continue its litigation. Japan-based Mt. Gox was a major early Bitcoin exchange to file for bankruptcy in 2014 after admitting it had lost 850000 in Bitcoins, 750000 of which belonged to its customers. Creditors have been fighting for some form of reimbursement through the seven years of legal standoffs. It was not clear at press time how many Bitcoins are left for creditors to claim. Should a significant portion of these Bitcoins come on the market, it, it could have a significant effect on the supply of the leading cryptocurrency and its price, uh, which I really don't foresee happening. 
I think that'll be gobbled up pretty quickly by uh, institutional players awaiting something of that nature, a chance, uh, you know, on one of these days where Bitcoin is down uh, five, six, 10% even uh, where they can come in and they look for a value area to add or begin adding to a, uh, you know, foundational position. So that wraps up the show for Friday. Uh, Real quickly, I'll, go over the market cap aggregate crypto market cap uh, right at one trillion dollars nine hundred ninety nine billion six hundred ninety six hundred ninety thousand btt dominance i noted last week i think 72 percent was the peak 73 percent i think we may have topped out for this cycle at least for now 66.9 percent all the way down uh it, it, it's trending downward now so uh like i said everyone have a good weekend and uh, let's hope these, uh, the price action continues to stay bullish in the macro and the altcoins uh, continue to have their day.